Okay, um, we should be going live now. There we go. Okay, we're live. And um, today we're going to go back and let me make sure the information is correct. We are playing back to our New York Giants 1936 No Color Barrier franchise. And... Um, Today we are going to play our rivals, the Brooklyn Dodgers. I, I think this is going game I did not want to step skip over because obviously back in the day and still the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants were huge rivals and today is the LA Dodgers and San Francisco Giants. They're still rivals. Um, okay, so we're still in the preseason here. And um, let's see if there's anything that we need to know. Let's check the mail. And let's see, that was... Okay, that's expired. Okay. So, there was a big deal sending Jesse Hill to the Boston... These and Washington Centers will receive chart. There's a tiny chap one. Okay. So, here we go. And, um, let's start the game. Play game against Brooklyn. Yes. And again, this is still a, uh, and here's our lineup. As you can see, got Josh Gibson back in there today. And um, you look at the Dodgers lineup from 1936. Uh, this is before the era that I'm more familiar with. But they have some good Babe Phelps, Tom Winsett, Joe Strip, and um, so let's start the game and let me get the game for you because I need another capture screen to send it out there. There we go. And let's see what we got going on here. Looks like we have a viewer. So welcome viewer. I'm not seeing coming up in chat, but anyway. So here we go. We're ready to start and, and um we are the visitors today, so let's begin. Let's see. Okay, this is spring training, so we're not going to let Carl Hubble pitch too many innings. And one down. Dick Bartell is up. And, oh, no, he's not down. He got there. Okay. This is good. Um, so we're going to do a uh, hit and run here. So that got Whitehead to second. And... We've got Mel Ott up again. Let's hit and run. Up, oh, that looks like a fly out. And back to second. So we got two down, man on second. And Hank Lieber. We're going to try hit and running again. And he's going home. And we get our first run. <clears throat> so, we've got 
two outs, man on first, Jojo Moore up. And he walks. And now this is a great time for Josh Gibson. Let's see if he could. He's been hitting quite well for us. And hits it hard, but not quite enough. But he has been doing, hitting quite well for us, Josh Gibson. That's why I wanted him. Probably one of the best hitting kit catches in history. All right. Brooklyn Dodgers come up and Frenchie Baga Dore. And one down. We'll probably let Call Hubble pitch about three innings or so. And a double for Monty Frey, the shortstop. And now uh, Tom Winsett with two out is going to see what he can do. Uh, that's an out. They tie the game on a two out, two two out hits. And that should end any. So it's tied 1-1 one, one after 1. 1-1 one, one after 1. That's... So... Um, and we start with Sam Leslie. And one down. Travis Jackson. Third baseman. Gets a hit. And call Hubble. Uh, and he gets a hit. No, we are not going to let him go on to third. Not with a, a shallow ball and a slow runner. Um, Burgess Whitehead, let's see, he got a hit last time and he walks. So he got bases loaded, one out. And uh, Dick Bartell is up. Nice. He brings in two. So we've got one out, man on second and third, and Mel Ott. This is a situation that we want to be, we like being in. I don't think Bill Prince is very happy about it. So, and we get another run. Okay. Hal Liebner is up. Uh, let's see. Melot is not particularly fast, so we're just going to hope for the best. And two down. And jo Jojo Moore, let's see, he is a good contact rating, and that ends the inning. But we get four runs in the inning, now take a 5-1 to one lead, and, uh, oh wait, he's not out. Oh, okay, we're still in it. Josh Gibson's up. And that does end the inning. But we take a 5-1 to one lead. And getting into the bottom of the um, Dodgers lineup here. And one away. And... Johnny Cooney is up. And two down. And Jim Butcher, the second baseman. And there we go. So Sam Leslie is up. And that's a fly out. No, no, no. 
He didn't get, he made an error. Okay, so Travis Jackson is up. Oh, uh, leave our run is on. And Carl Hubble is up. I'm gonna go for a bunt right here and hope he, well, yeah. We'll let him, hmm, we don't want to get a double play, so let's try a bunt again, and he does it perfectly, that man on second and third, one out, and we get back to the top of, <clears throat> top of our lineup with um, Whitehead, Burgess Whitehead's up. Let's go for it. And he's safe. So, we just got two more runs. And Dick Bartell is up. With one out. And, okay. Gets another man on. We've got man on first and second. These are our faster runners. We've got one out. We're going to go hit and run here. And we now got two outs. Man on second and third. And Hank Lieber is up. And that ends the inning. Okay. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we, they, now this is surprising that they're not pinch hitting for him. But they choose not to. And top back to the top of their order. Two out. And Joe Strip. And that ends the inning. And might I let Call Hubble go another inning, perhaps? Let's see what, what happens. Base hit by Jojo Moore and now Josh Gibson. Goodbye, baseball. That's what we have him for. That's what he does. Two run homer. So, and Leslie is up. Jackson, okay, so we got none out. We got man on first. And Travis Jackson is up. And he goes to second. Okay, we got one out. I'm going to let Carl Hubble hit. I don't, why not? We've got a huge lead. I want him to pitch that one more inning. And that's two outs. And Burgess Whitehead. Okay.
93 of that. And, oh, that's not good. Start sanding off with a triple. Now we've got a power hitter up. Let's and that's just what I was afraid of. Let's start getting. No, oh, we want New York substitutes. What do we got in the bullpen that isn't tired? Um. We got Lloyd Brown warming up and Babe Felt. None. And that looks like one out. Yep. Buddy Hassett. Okay, let's go to double play Deb. And that ends the inning. So, Dick Bartell is up. We're now in the top of the fifth. He walks. And they did replace the pitcher. They put in Tom Zachary, the left-hander. Okay. Mellot. And he's having trouble getting throwing strikes here. Hank Lieber. One out. Jojo Moore. Let me see something about Mel Ott. Uh... Let's see, I'm not seeing. Okay, he's not that fast. Neither is Bartel. Okay. Two gone. And here comes Josh Gibson again. Let's see if he can drive some of these. And he's. Okay. Um. We're getting to the bottom of the lineup. Let me see how, well, he's already pitched four innings. Uh, let's see. How, how is he doing? He's thrown 42 pitches. So, hmm. Let's, let's see what he does. One and and another strikeout, two down. All right, let's see if we can get that last hitter, and that ends the inning. What I'm going to do now is pinch hit for Call Hubble when he comes up. Because it is, a, I wouldn't be doing this in a regular season game, but a preseason game, yeah. Especially when you're ahead nine to three. Perhaps do a double replace. Travis Jackson is up, and he looks like he's flying out. Yep. And uh, now let's do our New York substitutions. Who do we have on the bench? Uh, all batters. Let's see what we got. Uh, 
Uh, we got some ex. We have Bill Terry, who, uh, let's see. And we could put him at, you know what? I'm going to bring in Joe Martin and oh, let's return to game. Wait, who are we facing? Uh, let me just check something. We're facing a right-hander. Okay. Facing a right-hander, so... Well, we're just replacing a righty with a righty. Um, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're going to bring Joe Martin in for Carl Hubble with a pinch hitter. And then we are probably going to re keep replace him at third base. Let him stay in the game at third base. So. And he, he gets a double. Okay. With two outs. And now we have Burgess Whitehead who maybe can drive him in. And he does. So now we get another run. And Dick Bartell, uh, let's go hit and run here. And that ends the inning. Okay. Now we got to do some changes here. New York substitution. All right. So, Joe Martin is going to go and stay at third base. And Lloyd Brown is going to come in here. Yes. And he's going to be our pitcher. And now we have taken care of that. And okay. So, we have Lloyd Brown in is a Bottom of the six, we have a 10 to 3 lead and Lonnie Free. Why does his hat say New York and not Brooklyn? It looks like it says New York. Hmm. And we've got one out. Um, Tom Winsett. That looks like it. There we go. And a nice play by our second baseman, uh, White Burgess Whitehead, to make two outs. And Babe Phelps is up. And that ends the inning. So, now we're at the top of the seventh. And here we go. Mel Ott leading off. And lines out. Hank Lieber. And two gone. And Jojo Moore. And it looks like he's going to be out. There we go. One, two, three, and... And we have the seventh inning stretch. And Buddy Hassett is up. And got out number one, Johnny Cooney is up. And very easy play there. And Jim Butcher. Again, right to the first baseman. Okay, so they got two more shots. 
and we got Josh Gibson coming to the plate. And oh, almost. Looks like he'd get it in the gap. Sam Leslie. And he he does get it. Single. And Sam. And we'll let our pitcher hit. Because he's been throwing well. Two down. And Joe Martin. And uh, we now have Sam Leslie on second. Two outs. Joe Martin's up. No, that's not going to do it. All right. So they've got, we need six more outs. Lloyd Brown versus Zeke Clement, who is a pinch hitter. And out. Eddie Wilson is coming in also as a pinch hitter. They walk him. All right, let's get to double play depth. We want to get that double play if we can. With one out. And Danny Taylor, yet another pinch hitter. And he lines out for two. Nick Polly, yet another pinch hitter. And that's the inning. Okay, so we are... Let's look at our New York substitutions here. Who is on the bench? Who do we want to put into the game? Uh, give people a rest. So... Oh, we can, we still have to get three outs, but we need to see some people. So let's see what we got going on here. Who has not played? Um, we're going to bring in, let's see, it's our second baseman. We're going to bring in, um, who do we have? Fresco Thompson is going to come in. We could do this too. And he's going to also... And he gets a hit. And the other thing I'm going to do is get a Picture warming up. So let's do AJ Smith. No, we had a. We're going to put in right handed Dick Kaufman. Have him ready to come in. And. Let's see. Okay, Dick Bartell gets another hit. Okay, for Mel Ott, we're also going to do a little bit of a substitution. Um, we're going to bring in Bill Terry. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that's, he's Bill Terry's a first baseman. Um, who has not played? None of them. Uh, let me. Batting ratings. I'm looking at batting ratings here. Who has not played in the outfield? Who can hit? Uh, I think I'm going to bring in. Hmm. We're gonna get bring in Joe Grace. And 
go back to the broadcast. Okay, he was fast enough, and Hank Lieber. Ah, double play. Okay, now we have to arrange our lineup. So he's going to go to second base, and he's going to go to left field, and... Oh, no. He's going to left field. And he's going to right field. There we go. And we're going to bring in Dick Kaufman to pitch. And let's go. We are now at the bottom of the ninth. We got a 10-3 to lead. And we got one away. And two away, and there we go. That looks like the game, and there we go. And uh, we had a very good game there. Some nice pitching by Carl Hubble. Had some nice hitting. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we had uh, Whitehead and Bartell get quite a few hits. We got a home run. Uh, Leslie got two hits. Jackson got two hits. Um, Josh Gibson got one hit, but that, and that was a home run, a two-run homer. So uh, he's had doing really well for us hitting wise um let me show you this yeah, yeah. let's go here and there you go there you go so you can see and they've got this funny little chart which I don't 100% understand I me mean, I could see you know based on who's doing better etc and so on but um anyway this is a was a good game for us and we're gonna save it always save your game uh, cause I have lost stuff not so much on this computer let's finish today and not so much on this computer but my old one was not as stable and uh, ran into some issues there. Okay, so let's see what's going on if there's any. Uh, nothing, nothing new, nothing big. Uh, team home screen. So, so we, we, uh, have our primary lineup, um, our rotation, and our bullpen. A little sparse by today's standards, but actually when I did the 1948 Dodgers, that was even a sparser bullpen. So, we are going to switch now to my one of my favorite blogs, Baseball History Comes Alive. And uh, they have some nice uh, stuff here from this week. Of course, last weekend was Jackie Robinson Day, Minnie Minoso, and he had quite a long career, uh, most of it with the White Sox. And you can see him doing a nice hook slide. This is one I haven't seen. Confusing History of the Washington Baseball Franchise. So, here we go. Um, so, let's see. Uh, um, 24. 
first game. Twins for the Washington Center. <clears throat> and then he moved to the Washington Center is in 1961 moved to Minnesota, to Minneapolis, and became the Twins. And then they created a new Washington Senators. And then, the original Washington Senators were the American League original franchise. Then it is, okay, um, Joe Cronin. So this is in the 1920s. And it moved to Minneapolis, became the Twins, and they created a second Senators franchise which then moved to Texas in 1972 and came, became the Texas Rangers. Then the Montreal Expos moved to Washington and now we have the Washington Nationals and we call them the Nats around here and um, they've been a pretty decent team. So let's let's have a look at these pictures. Um, this is the 1924 World Champion Senators. Casey Stengel <laughs> in 1924. And some more about their championship club. Um, their manager, Bucky Harris, more 1924 baseball. And the celebratory parade. And this is the, the team they played against the Giants. And Freddie Lindstrom for the Giants. These are some base, yes, baseball clowns, Goose Goslin. Money with Ellen Walter Johnson and some more world nineteen twenty four World Series. John McGraw President Coolidge and Walter Johnson. Babe Ruth with George Sisler and Ty Cobb. There's Babe Ruth, there's George Sisler, and there's Ty Cobb. And let's see what see if we can this must be from the Washington victory and they call it nationals not the senators oh well okay so that was that's that was a, a very interesting uh, article on uh he has the worst one of the worst trades most unbalanced trade um see no this is one So Ferguson Jenkins, and of course he was a great pitcher. Um, Cubs got Ferguson Jenkins, who became a great pitcher for them. For two veteran pitchers, Larry Jackson, Bob Bull, and Alfield, which is going to have a Hall of Fame career. And Jackson Bull combined for a losing record. Played 19 years, won 20 games, and I remember watching him growing up. He was one of the greats. Um, and he was a Canadian. Uh, he's Canadian. Um, became the first Canadian elected to the Hall of Fame. 
considered the anchor of the 12 black as a group of major league pitchers with at least 20 wins in one season. That's and Robin Roberts, Jim Cap, Burflat, everyone. So, let's see, we got Ferguson Jenkins, part of a broadcast and pitching. Remember that? This is before he was traded. He was with the Phillies pitching. And throwing out the first pitch. When he first joined the Cubs. Again, another first pitch. Now his autograph. And then he got, I guess he got traded later to the Rangers. And with Ernie Banks. Um, I didn't know he played for the Hall and Globe Trotted. And he's on a Canadian stamp. So, great player from the 60s and 70s. So, anyway, um, I think we're going to end it here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. A bit of a, um, uh, blow out a little bit in our game but uh, we had some some good good hitting and um, so that's gonna be it so until next time take